Hello everybody, this is Sandra from the CUN team and today I would like to share a case from my clinic. I have treated this patient recently and it is a lady, she is 42 years old and she came with a hearing loss on her left ear. She also told me that she hears an echo on this ear. She feels that the ear is very blocked and she has a tinnitus on this ear. She said that the sudden hearing loss happened uh, after she catched a little cold and she had a lot of stress at work. Also, she told me that it was the third sudden hearing loss within 10 years. Of course, she went to the doctor and uh, she was given three cortisone infusions, but they did not lead to any improvement. So what did I do? My step one, I did my diagnosis and I found the small intestine, the stomach meridian, the San Zhao, and gallbladder meridian on the left side. In my step two, I decided to do a global balance because her sudden hearing loss was caused by the cold and the stress. And her general appearance was that she was very tense and very firm. Also, when I checked her pulse, it the pulse was very tense. So for this reason, I decided to use the global balance pattern Julian Xiaoyang. Also, with this pattern, I know that all the meridians in the ear are balanced. So we have pericardium and liver, and we have San Zhao and gallbladder. Now, for example, I know the liver uh, meridian uh, is going to balance the small intestine bilateral, is going to balance the gallbladder contralateral, pericard meridian is balancing the stomach meridian bilateral, and the San Zhao on the opposite side, and San Zhao and gallbladder they balance each other anyways. So for my step three, for my points, I decided to use the projection. And first, I used the big image. That means I project the head onto the arm and the leg. The big image gives me the option to be very precise, to look very precise for Asha points. And I choose the projection because her problem was very located on, on, the, on, on one spot of the body, like the ear. So I went on the liver meridian and I found good Asha points um, around liver 8 to 7. Of course, it was Dr. Tan's uh, liver 8 area. On gallbladder 34 to 34.5. Also here of course was Dr. Tanz. I found good Asha points. Also very good Asha points I found on pericard 3 to 3.5. So all these um, uh, images belong to the big image. Now that's a big image here. And then there was one meridian left, the San Zhao. And on the San Zhao, I thought I will use a smaller image. 
and then for when I use a smaller image, I'm not that precise, but I can be strong because we know that the points, when we go more distal, they are more strong and more sensitive. So for the Sen Zhao, I used the smaller image. I went to Sen Zhao 3 to 3.5, I'll show. And uh, this is another image. The name is it's a, a, a direct small head image or we can also call it as a direct puppet show image that means we project the head onto the hand also i did the in tongue and then what happened with this lady after the first needling she felt a little bit more relaxed and I asked her to come back three days later for the next treatment. And she told me that the eco was slightly better, but overall there was no big change. But I continued with the same treatment pattern. And she came back two days later for the next treatment. And she told me that the eco was almost gone. Her hearing was much better and her ear was no longer blocked. Also, she told me that her digestion was much more active. The only thing that hasn't changed yet was a tinnitus. So she came back after four days for the next treatment and there she reported that she could finally sleep really well again and the tinnitus was barely audible. So in general, she felt much more relaxed. Then she came back one week later and she told me that the doctor's hearing test showed no more findings anymore and she was doing very well. So I hope that you liked this uh, small presentation and I wish you a wonderful day and maybe I see you soon. Bye bye.